So what is quantum physics? We ever, there's a new buzz around quantum physics, but what is quantum physics? And how is it different than physics? Well, just as a very, very broad overview, physics, or Newtonian physics, is the science of that which is anything larger than subatomic. So it's atoms, it's uh, molecules, it's the things that, it's all how this works, how physical reality works. But when we get into the realm that's below the atomic, into the subatomic, things change. You see, there is a very precise set of results that come in the physical realm, described by Newton as billiard balls, a billiard ball reality. And if you think about it that way, that if you, one billiard ball hits another billiard ball, there's a result that, that happens. At the, at the quantum level, there's something called potentiality, where things happen at a level of potentiality. And what that means is there is more than one result waiting to happen in a whole array of potentials that you can tap into. So nothing is certain, and I'll give you an example of that from Werner Heisenberg, who is the, one of the great fathers of quantum physics. And this is how this applies to you. Heisenberg said that when we observe something, both the observer and the observed are changed. This is why therapy is so great. Because when you start looking at your history, you are changed as well as your history being changed. You get to change everything by the way that you look at it. So quantum physics is about that which is smaller than the atomic. Understanding how that works and the impact of that is about how intention works. As I said, when we look at something, we change both it and ourselves. There's some fantastic research done by the Institute of Noetic Sciences. Now, one particular scientist, a guy called Dean Radin, does amazing research, absolutely amazing research. He's done research with random event generators to show how our intentions affect random events. Now, random events should show up just like tossing a coin, 50-50. But what he's been able to show is that there is a vast change once our intention is focused on something. Here's one of his pieces of research. Radin set up a computer, a computer program that would generate random images. Now, some of those images were erotic images, some of them were exciting images, some of them were fearful images. There were images basically were set to get an emotional response. And he had his people who would be the volunteers who were wired up. They were wired up at a heart level, they were wired up with their breathing, skin conductivity, all those kinds of things. And he would then show them these images, randomly showing them the images and then measuring the body's responses to those images. And as you might expect, the body responded accordingly. They would start to sweat if it was an exciting or, or stressful situation, the heartbeats would change, the breathing would change. All the things you would normally expect. They went into the research a little further and began to look at the timeline. Here's what's fascinating. The body responded approximately one-tenth of a second ahead of the image. Before the image showed up, the body knew. Dean Radin had the first research to show that we know before we know. Radin said it appears that we send out a quantum wave to meet our own future. That is wild stuff. When you really think about your impact on reality, that there's this mechanism called your mind that slows it down so that you can understand it. And that mechanism is a filter. It's filtering out all kinds of information or else we'd be overwhelmed, we'd be bombarded. The problem is it's also filtering out a lot of the stuff you really want. So when you learn to master your mind, we have a program called Mind Mastery, that's what that's about. When you learn to master the mind, understand the programming, which is all these filters that you've got in the way, and you start getting those out of the way, you start getting the information, and you start knowing before you know it. At the Attracting Force program, one of the things we say is, we teach you how to turbocharge your intuition so that you can trust it. Because you already know what you know. How many times have you gone against your own intuition? And then go, oh, I knew that was the answer. Well, of course you did, because you know before you know. We send out quantum.